What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kieran and I hope you guys are doing all right. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of 1010 energy portal reading for the collective. Okay, this is going to be taking a look at the Awakened Collective Empath Twin Flames, all of you guys, just to be taking a, um, a look and see uh, what, what energy is coming your way, what events are coming your way, some guidance from spirit. Basically, this is a powerful day, 1010, right? That, that sort of angel number. It talks about awakenings, um, uh, you know, being connected to the, to the spiritual awakening process, being connected to your guides and things like that. Uh, generally speaking, almost all angel numbers have something to do with that, but um, numerolo uh, numerologically speaking, 1010 is a very powerful number, okay? And today is 1010, uh, in case uh, you didn't know that, it is. And so uh, I hope that this reading is going to give you guys some, some insight, some advice, some guidance into what you may be currently experiencing right now in the collective, uh, which is uh, based upon my own experience, um, kind, of, uh, kind of a process right now of completion and slowing things down. Uh, to really try and get um, to try and get some kind of completed lesson so that uh, those of us who have done a lot of work have been in particular cycles can actually move on into this next new phase. So a lot of you might be feeling a little bit stagnated uh, over the past September and into October now and then there is some beautiful energy coming in uh, that's going to allow some new positive momentum to carry you forward towards your dreams uh, and hopefully not towards your death though I suppose we're all heading in that direction anyway but uh, later than sooner I suppose so uh, let us take a look okay I've got a couple decks here and I'm also gonna pull some messages that I made on these scraps of paper that'll be fun too all right guys so I'm gonna start with this deck and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at the energy uh, for um, for the collective that's going on this month uh, this energy portal 1010 okay so I'm just going to connect to spirit real quick. Um, so dear spirit, please bring in nothing but love and light and truth into this reading. And let's find out what is going on with the collective energy for October 2020 through this 1010 kind of portal activation. All right. All right, guys, let's take a look. Let's see what spirit has for your way energy coming in. So we'll start with this present tense energy which is going to be where you're at currently and we'll see where the energy develops okay all right so the card that flew out or came out i suppose is the page of cups okay now the page of cups talks about um some sort of self-love right some some type of self-care taking care of yourself and this makes a lot of sense because right now many of you may be in this present energy where you feel this need to uh, be surrounded in your emotional body, You're taking care of yourself, taking care of your emotions, okay? You can see this seal or sea line. I honestly don't know the difference between the two. I, I assume one has a bigger penis. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever kind of sea, sea line thing this is, he's surrounded by the ocean, right? He's got this cup on the beach. Um, so the cup is there. It's slower moving, right? But this is about taking care of yourself. So a lot of you guys right now in this energy or getting into this energy presently of of learning how to take care of yourself, of taking a break into in favor of uh, healing yourself, um, taking care of your emotions, um, being um, being called to discover more about yourself, doing things that you love, right? Reading, writing, music, um, but it, but it is it is an energy of, of self care. So before there can be any real offers made to you or others or anything like that, there's this uh, there's this very important phase of learning how to take care of yourself and how to deal in. Uh, how to deal with your um, um, your inner child and things like that okay so this is a time where you guys are self exploring maybe even resting a little bit I got this uh, this back injury the other day um, at least I hope it's a back injury it could be internal bleeding but uh, I'm going with favor of, uh, of back injury and uh, and I've been kind of sidelined a little bit it's been kind of forcing me to kind of just rest take care of myself okay so there is a lot of self-love energy coming on um, in, in this reading so far and so that makes sense because at least I'm experiencing it in my uh, in my daily life okay all right so let's keep going we'll see what other energy is coming your way <clears throat> for the collective okay okay so we got a couple of cards that come out here we have the Empress card the Empress card is the feminine energy the divine feminine energy within you so this is again kind of in line with the page of cups more emotional than logical it's more in the um, the emotional body but it is a very spiritual energy to be in so it's, it's an empowering energy when it comes to nurture self-care right again that, that motherly figure so a lot of you mothers out there might be feeling extra attached to your children at this time but 
there's this element of creation and love that comes in with the Empress energy. So this is a fertile time for you guys to grow. So within this collective, as you take care of yourself, there's this nurturing energy that you're growing within yourself that is not only allowing you to expand through your spiritual divine feminine energy, and, and the divine feminine energy is all about, um, you know, it's all about connecting to spirit, having having some sort of con connection with something greater than the physical reality, okay? So feeling connected to something, feeling creative, feeling passionate, feeling concerned, feeling em empathy. Um, that, so this is, again, your direct connection to spirit. So as you begin to take care of yourself, you're also nurturing your, your soul, you're nurturing your growth, you're nurturing your emotional body, you're becoming uh, this, this divine feminine energy, which is, again, the creative influence, the, the spiritual, the intuitive. So these things are kind of upgrading in your life, allowing you to feel more free, allowing some more healthy energy to come in to make you feel grounded, right? I, I assume, uh, I, I guess this is a cow. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I honestly don't know, uh, but whatever it is, uh, the bison, whatever it may be, it's... Um, it's grounded. It's grounded in this earth energy, right? So this is a time of groundedness coming in, which makes sense because the card that we have after here is this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, now um, I don't. As for all the animals they could have chose, as to why they chose a dung beetle, I shall never know. But uh, for whatever reason here, we have this dung beetle rolling up um, some shit. Uh, but Ace of Pentacles is a good, good opportunity. Okay, so this means that again, more earth energy coming in. So energetically, this is talking about new beginning for you guys in the 3d so as you've been taking care of yourself if you as you're going through this energy that's coming in making itself available to you making you more grounded making you more connected to yourself your soul we have a real opportunity coming in in the 3d um to sort of give you like a pat on the back to say hey you've done the work you, you've been doing the things that you've been meant to be doing uh keep going and here's a here's a reward for your hard work because as you raise your vibration you you're getting the things that you want to match um and, and the things that you want you have to raise your vibration to, to meet, right? And that's what's happening. So there is some self-care energy. So if things have slowed down in your life, don't take it as a sign that you're necessarily failing. Take it as a sign that you need to rest before this next new opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles can come in and allow you guys this new fresh start that you've been wanting, okay? So if you guys have been wanting a new job or, or a place or a new grounded place to feel safe, a new home, things like that, there's a new opportunity uh, coming in for you guys energetically this month, okay, and it will spill into November as well, all right? So we have some energy cards there to sort of set a groundwork for this important time. I'm going to move over now into into some sort of guidance um, right now for you guys, okay? Uh, I want to I kind of figure out what's going on with, you know, what, what's going on with, with the individual lives that you guys are leading. So we'll get some, some guidance for you guys right now. Um, to see what it is that you should be doing, what it is that you should be focusing on, because as this energy is making its way known to you, there's going to be some some helpful advice, I think, in order to tap into that. Because while the energy is available, you do not have to necessarily partake. You could smoke weed every day, eat a bunch of Rice Krispie treats, and do nothing. That seemed very specific. I have been eating a lot of Rice Krispie treats. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this as advice, it's actually really good. The advice from the Wheel of Fortune is to basically uh, let things happen as they're supposed to, okay? So this is a great card because it means that a lot of stuff is actually outside of your control. So for guidance, this would almost be allowing this new cycle to come in. So whatever's been holding you back, allow it to naturally fall away. Allow this new energy, this new divine timing to kind of come in and allow this new, these new things to come in. So kind of fall into the present moment. Allow divine timing to happen in your life. If you are living in the present, you're always on time, right? I mean, that really does make sense to me anyway, because if you have an interview or you have to be somewhere at 7 o'clock and you're there on 7 o'clock uh, on time, right? You're there. You're in the present moment. You're on time, right? But if you're, if you're there at 6.58, well, you're not there. You're early. And if you're there at 7.03, as fashionably late as that may seem, you're actually late, right? But you're always on time when you're in the present moment. So focus on the present moment now alleviate any concerns about the past or the future because really all that you can do is control your actions for today tomorrow isn't promised it's a privilege so honestly um, do focus in on the present moment here because any worry or anxiety is really going to keep uh, this ace of pentacles energy away from you okay and that's going to show up for different um for for each of you right this is general reading but 
there is that new energy, so do allow yourself to fall into the present moment. Let's see what other kind of guidance I can get for you guys here. Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles, so this would be about a discipline, focusing on the tasks at hand. So. Uh, the actions, the actions that you take during any kind of day. So discipline, right? Take take careful, methodical steps, um, but but keep working, keep working. The Eight of Pentacles. You can see this little uh, this goat. Um, uh, I, I guess it's a goat, little, little billy goat here, climbing up this this these steep cliffs, right? And in order to do that, it takes a certain amount of uh, care, right? It takes a certain amount of um, care, some steps. Uh, looking where you're going right so so not only do you have to look where you're going focus on the direction that you do want to go so of course do try to manifest what it is that you're actually trying to achieve but be but be gentle and careful with the way that you do things okay this is a disciplined hard working attitude okay so if you just just whatever actions you're doing during the day just do them with care just do them with diligence do them with love and and keep on working right keep on going towards your goals even if things in the 3d aren't looking like they're going in the direction that you want as long as you keep taking positive action like this billy goat uh, you'll essentially climb the ladder here climb the steps of success okay so keep taking positive actions um, in your life uh, and, and of course keep doing what it is that you've been doing so keep working keep uh, moving forward and keep climbing um, and don't don't stay still for too long um, otherwise uh, you know you might fall into laziness things like that but uh, for many of you, there is, of course, this element of resting, of staying still. So in, in this case, for some of you, the Eight of Pentacles is really going to be talking about making sure that your plans are care carefully laid out, okay? But as but as for just a general sort of advice, it would just mean be careful with, with the actions that you take. Make sure that they're, they're actually helping you climb where you need to go and not in the opposite direction, okay? Uh, so that otherwise you don't fall off, okay? So we get a little third card here for you guys, the collective... See what other kind of advice Spirit has for you guys during this time. And yeah, we have, we do have the rest card, okay? I think I might sneeze, so if you guys might awkwardly stare at my shirt for a little bit, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got that out of the way. I don't understand why people say, you ever realize, why do people say God bless you when you sneeze? And then people say thank you, as if something, as if i just gotten a gift. Anyway, I never understood it, and I never will. Anyway, Four of Swords talks about rest talks about recu uh, recuperating, rejuvenation. This toad in the desert talks about um, uh, resting. Uh, I guess the desert, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the desert, um, but I live in California. I've been to many deserts outside of California, and there is this prevailing energy of all deserts, and it's like complete stillness. It isn't stagnation. Stagnation always feels like swamps, but deserts are dry arid and they're almost often sparse and oftentimes you do see toads and lizards like this just resting right just sitting doing nothing get re, re, um, you know gaining their energy back and that's exactly what's going on here so as well in tandem with this eight of pentacles wow i never get to say in tandem in tandem with the eight of pentacles the four of swords talks about resting recuperating all of your energy making sure that you're not pushing yourself because right now you do need to rest because there's this energy of self-love there's this nurturing energy coming on and you're preparing for this new birth of something with this ace of pentacles so the four of swords is saying take this time to heal what you need to heal if it's your physical body such as my goddamn back uh you know take a rest lay down heal it allow yourself um because i it only happened i was pushing myself too hard and worrying too much so i know that four of swords right makes sense for me so maybe it'll make sense for you too so you guys need to rest right now take some care of your body take some care of your soul and, and don't push yourselves too far um, in any direction right now because even again if things don't seem like they're moving forward it's because you need to internalize and and, and connect with this energy of resting of, of of trying not to do so much in this pursuit of happiness or peace because it's actually when you're doing nothing do you find the most peace, right? When, when people are always looking for happiness or, or peace, which are usually tandem with each other, um, but usually when you feel peaceful, you're not doing anything in particular. You're watching a sunset, you're laying in bed, you're listening to music, you're in post-coitus smoking a cigarette. Peaceful is usually when you're doing nothing, okay? So you do have to find some inner peace, and you will find that if you follow the guidance of the angels here, the spirit, whatever you choose to call them, right? So do focus in on that energy, and that should help you guys out, okay? Now, I do kind of want to get some some of these oracle cards as well. I want to see uh, what good news um, 
is coming, sort of coming your way. So we'll see what, what, what news is coming your way for the collective uh, that I'm reading for here. All right, so what, what news, what good news is coming towards the collective here? See what cards I can get, and then I'm gonna pull some of those little slips of paper that I that I worked on. So the the cards that we have here, and because I asked for good news, no matter what they say, it's uh, it means that there's some there's some healthy positive energy coming in regardless. Okay, so first we have ivy, which is stretch and explore, and then we have the swamp, which I just mentioned, which is funny. Uh, and that's about facing your fears, okay? So I'm going to start with Ivy, and I'm going to read that. I guess it would be really weird if I didn't read it, so I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what I would normally do. Um, so, new opportunities are appearing, okay? Test them out, explore new realms, use the past as a foundation, but be open to the new as well. In this way, your success will continue to grow. Okay. So what Ivy's trying to say here for good news is that there, there is, again, like with this Ace of Pentacles, there is this new, these new opportunities coming, these things that are going to allow you to grow and expand much like Ivy does. Like Ivy all over the place, right? Grows all over buildings, old buildings, things like that, um, right? And so it, it's, it just kind of just goes, right? It, it really just explores and just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. So again, just do as much, you know, with this Eight of Pentacles almost it's sort of saying as a good news that there's there's not only there's going to be opportunities but if you've been feeling stagnated or constrained like you can't really spread your wings a lot you're going to be able to, to sort of fly and feel more free because as you kind of grow and expand you're allowed to touch more things you're allowed more opportunities you're allowed to go more places okay so there is going to be some really expansion some like some expanding energy coming in for you guys soon okay so that's good news and then finally we have the swamp card which is about facing your fears um, which sounds like it might not, doesn't sound like it's good news, but I imagine what I'm going to pick up from this is that your fears are going to sort of evaporate because this will be a time when if you're resting and, and taking the advice, you will have no choice but to face your fears. And they will they will dissipate, they'll go away, whatever whatever the, your fears may be. It, doesn't, it honestly doesn't matter how metaphysical they are or emotional or whatever it may be, they will uh, evaporate, okay? So we have here we have um uh so initiation is at hand that has the potential to transform you and enable you to cross into new lands and in this instance it is your faith that will conquer your fears okay and, and it talks about until we face our fears we cannot truly tap the power within our deepest levels of consciousness which is our heritage okay so what this is saying is good news is that if you've been afraid of something if you've been feeling like you your fears are taking control or they're just getting in the way of the things that you normally wouldn't allow things to get in the way this is going to be a really great time for those fears to sort of dissolve and, and evaporate into where they need to go and that's hand in hand with this expansion so as you expand as you tap into yourself as you rest as you connect to yourself you'll notice that there's a deep wellspring of energy within you and oftentimes what that means is falling into this pit of emptiness Right? You, you lay down, you close your eyes, and sometimes when we begin to rest, we have these awful feelings that come up. Sometimes it's loneliness, sometimes it's this sort of semi-depression, semi-fear, anxiety, right? All these things that we just push away during our lives, they come up when we rest. And there's this emptiness behind that, and there's these, uh, which is blocked oftentimes by the, by the mind trying to find answers, trying to find sol solutions, trying to do the next thing. But really when you want to just tap into the energy of who you really are, into your absolute essence, you have to fall into your emptiness, fall into yourself. Because just beneath that emptiness, that layer of the unknown, which is where all your fears are, your subconscious uh, you know, insecurity, all that, Beneath that is this beautiful, beautiful essence, and sometimes I can tap into it. Sometimes we all tap into it just by, by random events, but there's actually a deep truth behind that that we can feel every single day, but some of us don't. We don't take the, we don't take the time to sit still. We don't take the time to rest like this is suggesting, okay? 
Um, but if you do that and you let yourself fall into your own grace, fall into your own emptiness, you'll discover this beautiful, bountiful energy within you and that will allow you to conquer everything. And that's what this card is saying. So do look out for some new fresh energy to come in and your fears to evaporate finally, especially if they've been long withstanding fears, okay? Um, and then finally, I'm gonna pull some of these cards. I made them. I'm gonna turn them into a tarot deck at one point. Oh, I'm not too sure how much it costs to make a tarot deck, but it's definitely not money I have. But at one day I will. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ask Spirit real quick what messages, what final messages they have for the collective right now. So dear spirit guides, what messages do you have for the collective? And I am closing my uh, my eyes right now. I am any woman that has ever had to do anything with Harvey Weinstein right now. I am completely closed off to whatever it is I'm seeing. So don't worry about that, not cheating. Hopefully you guys trust me out. Um, but let's take a look. So what messages do you have spirit guides? I'm gonna pull two or three. Okay, so the first message that we have is change now with a little alarm clock that I drew. Shitty, shitty alarm clock. So what this talks about, guys, is this element of change. Okay, so again, if you've been feeling like you've been stuck, you've been feeling like you can't figure things out, this change now comes in as a message for you guys to really take the time. Because we have this alarm clock, really take the time to, to change, okay? Take the time to wake up, so to speak. So allow yourself to just kind of go into whatever it is you need to do that will allow you to change. And oftentimes, change, we don't really need to do that much. People think that in order to change, you have to do more. You don't, you have to do less. The less you have, the more you understand about yourself, the more you can connect to yourself. And when you connect to your energy, your real self, there's nothing you can't do because it's endless. Your energy is endless, it's constant, it's, it's, it's soul, right? The body tires out, but the energy within you is absolutely, it's, it's a powerful, it's a powerhouse, right? So do change. So it's given this element to things that you've been wanting to change, do put those as your first, first priority. Uh, second, let's see what else I can get for you guys. Let's see, I might pull one, two more. <clears throat> so we have this message of, um, we have just friends, okay? So whatever message that's coming in for you guys, this could be talking about people that you may be romantically interested in. Could be that there's uh, you guys are just friends, and maybe it's best that way. Uh, for others of you, it's going to be your friends are going to be the ones that pull you through whatever you're going through. They might help you with the change. They might help you with whatever it is that you're struggling with. So there's a which is the spirit guys are trying to tell you guys to to connect with your friends at this time, who you consider your friends and family. Okay, to to really help you through whatever times you're going with. All right, and then finally. What other messages do you have, Spirit? And then finally we have, you're safe. And that's supposed to be fire, okay? So uh, we have this element of you're safe. And what that means, uh, other than the actual, the actual words, is that there, you are allowed to let go. You're allowed to rest. You're allowed to do whatever it is you actually feel called to do intuitively, not, not egoically, whatever you really feel like doing, you're safe, you can relax, you're protected, okay? So you are allowed to make the changes you need to, you're allowed to call on help, you're safe, you are protected. And I am gonna pull one more card because I feel called to right now. One more card for the collective, please. What else do they need to know? What else is coming their way? And we have mission work, okay? And I'm glad that I pulled that because the mission work means that this is a time to focus on your mission. And also not only that, but there is gonna be some, some healthy job opportunities coming in that's gonna be part of your mission. And that's why we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So beautiful energy working its way in. Mission work, again, allowing you guys to focus on your mission, taking, uh, taking steps towards your mission work, the things that you feel called to do, whatever that may be. It could be making YouTube videos on a bed in someone else's room that even isn't even your own. Uh, because you have no choice and you feel called to, uh, or it could be things, you know, like opening up your own sex toy shop. I have no idea, to each their own, but whatever it is, focus on your mission, um, and usually it's to help people, okay? So I hope that these messages uh, help you guys out. 10 is a very powerful um, day, and I hope that the rest of October matches some of this energy for you guys. 
Um, all right, guys. I um, appreciate you guys sticking around watching it. If you guys want personal readings, let me know. And if you want to follow my Instagram, I do different kind of stuff on there. Tarot cards of the day, sarcastic comments, wisdoms, uh, nude pictures. Not of myself, just of different other people. Um, and so, yeah, uh, if, those, if those things interest you, uh, let me know. And uh, the links are always down below. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. And we'll talk soon. Okay, bye.